less than an hour. By the end of the year, you should have enough funds to have paid them off. What I'm saying is, if our people are qualified, all they have to do is seven a month. Seven a month, we, 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 we meet the qualifications of what the DE2 says. I'm more than happy if you will give me whoever you're talking to. I'm talking to a local guy. I don't know who you're talking Who's to. Who's going to pay for the pumping, Robert? Because most of the, a lot of these systems are going to need pumps. Well, the, we've done the, the stag systems that we've just done. Uh, we don't know how they were running. Well, we have they, they were we so have bad. funds in for years. I think the city needs to look at their accounting to figure out where all that money went. That's it's not money. all that money, forty-five dollars, of what you're talking, and it wasn't that much until last July. Forty-five dollars goes to the EDU mandated by USDA. That's not even into the step system. That's to give you the privilege to hook your step system to this sewer line. I don't think you can address your cost issue until you do your budget committee exercise. Okay, all I wanted to do, Orville, I wanted to present to the people here, mm -hmm. I have an easement agreement that says right in, in, in my documents is that I told Susie I'd bring down and she can copy if she wants. It says that the city of Lakeside is responsible for the maintenance and, and the service. That's the way I understand it. I'm not a lawyer. It's my understanding that it's a contract that I have, the contract I have with the city. The only way I know to change a contract is by amending my contract and everybody sign it. I have not signed anything amending my contract. I don't know if I'm right or wrong on that. But I do know one well, thing. If I'm going to continually to get Anytime you want some more money, you're going to come after us, I'll step to you. No, then I'm going to start arguing with you. I'm not going to argue with you. I agree with the, the idea of where we're at in one year, because uh, uh, toward a revisit toward where we're at. That, but the terminology of inspect and maintenance, that, that it keeps hounding me toward that Dodge dealer, you buy a car, you, they agree to inspect and maintenance. The motor blows up. You pay for the motor. So, the, so the, how wide a berth is inspection and maintenance? Then I got your question. Every time you pump down at the plant, or you set a separate bill out to everybody because it's an additional above what they're forty-five dollars. Every time you burn a motor out down at that plant, okay. Now, last one time when you and I were talking, or when you mentioned that the guys need to be at the plant because that's where they're building the plant. I built plants all over the United States, not sewage plants, but one of my biggest arguments has always been that the people who's going to run the plant are never there when I'm building them. That's where I want them. That's the reason I'm willing to say I'm willing to pay the $10 to get this thing inspected for two reasons. One, to get the city out of the dam, and number two, allow those operators to stay down there and learn what that plan is so they can do it more efficiently. They learn to do that more efficiently, and that gives them more time to come out and inspect these these systems so we don't have to go hire a rotor ruler and spend $9,000. That's all I'm saying. Do it smart. Well, we didn't have a choice to do it smart this time. Because and they were paying the, for it. See, these, these, all I hear about, and I hear I like the camera set up here. Why well, wasn't the camera set up down there when some of these guys are working their butt off day and night to make this thing run and get some pictures of that? And the hours that they've been put in and all the stuff that they've been doing down there to, to help save the city money. Nobody mentions that. The only time you get a camera is when somebody wants to be little you or try to thumb you down. But what did I just say? I don't want to pay the money to keep those people down here to do their to, to learn that plant to make it more efficient. I want to know whether those people down there have the qualification to inspect these step systems. You don't have to disconnect the cable or anything like you that. You have them, those are hard wire, you have to, and I know, I took a class last Tuesday, they're hard wired, and I've got one right out of my pickup, the little box, to come from your meter base to this disconnect, it's the one with the breaker on it, it goes from there into this little box that sits in your tank, no. and it's water, it's sealed. I know. And you open that little box up, 
and they're wire nutted on, they're hard wired. The only way you can lift that pump out is if you lift it up and if the cord is long enough, you can lay it on the ground. But it's still wired, hard wired, and you cannot, a city employee cannot do it, and I've got the insurance agent says they better not do it. Period. So that's the way. And a W1, W2, or W3, that doesn't mean squat as far as in respect to these tanks. They can be a W4 and not have an electrical license or a limited electrical license, and they're not going to touch them, period. Right. May I say something? Yes. I agree with what you're saying. Just like I said the last time, I agree with what you're saying. I might call it an argument. That if they have to disconnect the wire, just like rotor rooter does, they have to go get an electrician to do that. Rotor rooter themselves told me, 99% of those step systems out there, you'll be able to do your maintenance and your service with ever hooking anything. That's what they told me. I watched it. I watched it done. I watched it done. Yeah, you watched it done with the rental pump. We don't have. We've got five different kinds of pumps in these. I understand. And they're all different. So one thing I think we also need to do is they have those, those operators trained so that they can do that. They've got, to get, they've got basically a year to do that. So get one of them or two of them trained so that they can disconnect from the control box. We're, we're starting to plant right now, and, and that's why we got Roto Rooter. And anything that I do, or this council does, or anything I have to recommend to the council is going to be run through the DEQ. We're going to be inspected, not just on the step system, but our records are going to be inspected, our treatment plant's going to be inspected, and everything we've got is going to be inspected because we show Rotor Rooter that we're not reliable as a city. And we're going to have to, we're going to, have to prove to them, and, and Linda and I talk, and you can't go back, and I thank her for telling me, you know, you can't go back because that's what I was going to do. I can't go back and pick up what, and it, but I can go in the minutes, and every single council that's been here for the last 20 years has tried to correct this problem, and they come out and they got yelled at and all this type of stuff, and they back down. And now somebody called, and I didn't call Rotor Rooter, it was some, some people, I don't know who they were, I know who filed the complaints, I got their name, but he wouldn't tell me who called Rotor Rooter, but there were several people called, I mean, called DEQ. And so when yeah. DEQ got a hold of it, they came and wanted a meeting with me, and they sat down right here and said, if you had passed that ordinance, we would have overruled it. And he said, you're going to do this, and this, and this, and this. I believe that. And then I got this little thing right here, that, that if, I, if we don't do that, we're going to start getting fined so much a day until we do do it. So we're either going to do it, or they're going to come in and do it, and they don't care what it costs. It's, it's serious. And, and that's what we've agreed to do by adding ten dollars a month plus our. We can't do it with ten dollars a month, Robert. If we have to pump, it, if we have okay. And you're asking us to put all that bill. That's not proper. It's well, not right. Well, you're asking the other. There's, I got a, I got a deal yesterday. They said the population of Lakeside is fifteen hundred forty-five. I didn't think it was that high. I got that yesterday. Fifteen forty-five. Is it right for? Uh, they say we have 81 step systems, and we don't because there was mistakes on them. We found some that, was, that we didn't have that they said we had that weren't steps, and the city said to rebate those, and this goes you back years. But anyway, should those people have to pay to pump with this, your step system? See, what the problem has been here, Robert, from the day one, by not inspecting them, 10 or 15 percent of the people on the step program has taken all the money that the step program generated to keep theirs going. They get them pumped three times a month. So the city was stupid enough to do that. When we got to let checking it, and Phil and I got to looking at the records, you can't run this thing in the black, pumping somebody's tank three times a year, replacing five or six pumps for one person. How can they do it at Glide at $31? Because they inspect them. See, they told... Hey, but I'm saying, we're going to get that inspection, but now you're asking, you're asking these step guys to go through pay double again. We can get the inspection, Robert, but what if half of them need pumped? And like the ones that have been pumped have all been bad ones, like the $500 range to get them pumped. And, and so you and get $500. It's, it's the city that made this problem. If you had left it up to the individuals, they had nothing. And I'm, I'm a little confused right now as to what the city is really telling us. I thought I read someplace.